All right, so I um, spent like the last month uh, working with Blender, so I think I'm getting a little bit better, uh, and uh, hopefully the models that are in the game now are going to be a little bit cooler looking and uh, more realistic, and then also uh, more differentiated. So I'm planning on having um, two factions to start right now, and then uh, having more factions in the future, um, as well as some civilian ships. So this is the first faction um, and this is a learning process, so I might uh, tweak these ships too, since uh, you know, I'm learning as I go, so uh, I feel like some ships are better than others, and uh, I might swap them out in the future. But uh, this um, ISC faction, uh, their motif is a little bit more boxy, uh, and that's kind of where I'm going with this one. And then the next one, they're going to be a little bit more uh, angled style, so... Uh, uh, I guess you'll have to wait and see what that means, but um, I wanted to show the fleet so far um, with uh, proportions. So here is a uh, just a human uh, floating in space, and they're about two meters high. So um, the first craft is this is kind of the personal craft right here. It's the fighter. Um, so it's you know it's a good proportion to a human player to climb in there and fly that individually. Um, this fighter ship I'm going to redo completely. So this one here is the old design, and um, I think I've learned a little bit more on how to make things look a little bit better in uh, Blender. So anyway, this is about 15 meters long. Um, I don't know how tall it is. 10 meters maybe. Uh, anyway, so as we zoom out, we get to the Corvette. This is the one I made today. Um, it's got some weapons on it. Um, so it's got. Uh, point defense turret and uh, an anti-fighter turret. These ships are really all about kind of taking on the smaller ships, maybe planetary defense. Uh, they're a bit more robust than the fighter. Uh, they have better armor than the fighter, but they, in, in the grand scheme of things, they don't have that great armor. Um, down here, I had modeled a missile bay, but it doesn't seem to be there anymore, uh, so I had to find it. Uh, anyway, there's going to be missile bays underneath these wings, and uh, so these corvettes can carry a large quantity of missiles and torpedoes and things like that so they can fire those off so that makes them pretty dangerous and they're small so um, well small relatively <laughs> as you can see the human character is almost a blip now and uh, this also has two front facing guns and those will do some some big damage so uh, the corvette is maneuverable enough that it should be able to kind of fly around with the fighters and aim right at the fighters and take them out. So, um, and you'll see Corvettes are, <clears throat> while big for human size, are not big compared to some of the cap ships. Okay, so so that, that Corvette's about 100 meters long, I guess. And then we have the um, destroyer, and this guy is about 500 meters long, I believe. Um, so it's got big gun, uh, and I'll probably be remodeling this, but uh, the idea is that the destroyer probably has some sort of um, keel-mounted rail gun on it that also has a bunch of uh, tarts, so probably at least these four, maybe some on the back. I've got some random one here, but um, basically uh, these tarts will be more uh, anti-cap ship tarts uh, instead of um, anti-fighter tarts, but... Um, this is this this ship is more about fighting other capital ships and using um, maybe corvettes and things like that as a defense thing. So um, I guess you could switch out these turrets for point defense turrets and things like that if you want to specialize. Also, the front here is a bay uh, to put a bay weapon in. So uh, the initial idea was one of those flying gun type ships where this would have like a big beam weapon uh, coming out of the front there, so that's why that's kind of there. It's not a bay for uh, for ships. Um, okay, so then there's the cruiser. So now we're getting into kind of kilometer long type of things. So this is the cruiser. It's got two big guns on the front. It's got some uh, lots of tarts, and as you can see, uh, and then these are actually bigger tarts. So. And uh, the other thing that I didn't talk about, but uh, these bigger ships have like communication arrays and things like that. So these are kind of their sensors. Um, you can target those, blow them up, and that will mess up their ability to do stuff. 
And then, I don't know if this has one on here, but this one also is going to have some missile bays and things like that. So, um, and missile bays um, on like a cruiser could launch like anti capital ship nukes and things like that. So, um, you can launch like 12 missiles at once, stuff like that, and uh, should be pretty spectacular to see what happens. So if you can see, little guy, corvette, destroyer, cruiser, and then this is our carrier. So this guy is pretty big. Um, the carrier has to be big because these are two big um, ship bays to launch ships out of. Uh, you can definitely launch fighters out of here, that's kind of the main point, and then also uh, corvettes could fit in there as well. Um, I don't think the other ships could fit in it, but uh, yeah, so a carrier can launch a bunch of support crew and things like that. This one doesn't have any weapons on it. I haven't really messed with how the carrier, um, the carrier's not running around yet in the game, and I have the destroyer, uh, the cruiser set up to actually fly around and do stuff, but uh, the AI for it is still kind of fighter AI, so it's not doing exactly, it's not using its weapons the way it should use its weapons, so um, I gotta write the AI. But right now I'm focused on this 3D modeling. So, carries the biggest, I forget how big it is, it's at least a kilometer long, let's see. So it's over a kilometer, and then uh, the cruiser is a little under a, car a, a uh, kilometer, and then half a kilometer for the destroyer. And then about 100 meters for this Corvette. And then a fighter. And then a little person. Alright. 